And now meteorologist Jeff Ray joins us now with the first alert weather forecast. Hey, Jeff. You know, what a day uh, it has been. It has been such a long time since we've had temperatures uh, like this. So the high today was 72 degrees. This is the coldest day since April 28th. Uh, the forecasted low tonight is in the low 50s. And if you step outside tomorrow morning and go, wow, I, I barely remember it can get this cold in the morning. That's because it, it was 160 mornings ago when we had a temperature this chilly. So uh, it, it's going to be very refreshing to finally know that there is cap it is capable of getting some real fall weather around here. But as we take a look outside right now, temperatures are in the low 60s. Uh, the dew point is at 34. That is extremely low. That's winter type air. Uh, winds have been out of the north all day. Uh, to next three days, it will be warmer. I mean, we'll probably hit about 80 degrees tomorrow, but still very low humidity, nothing but sunshine. Monday, a very sunny day upper 80s and we'll have a few clouds on Tuesday mid 80s there's going to be a little system come across and then Tuesday night there's going to be this small chance of rain I was telling you about uh, the Cowboys game tomorrow you know the heat advisor in San Francisco today because temperatures were getting the upper 80s low 90s remember it's very humid there next to the coast but anyway uh, it's it's not going to be like that at all tomorrow they've had this cooler air coming in so at 7 p.m. it'll be in the 60s it's just gonna be a lovely night for football. Uh, high temperatures around here, as you can tell, are warmer than average starting Monday. That'll be the story for most of the week until the other cold front comes in. That's going to happen Thursday night, bring with it a little bit of rain, and then we'll have uh, some 70s to enjoy again. But this is how that looks like on first alert future cast. A first on Thursday, a 90 degree day, but we'll have this really breezy south wind. The humidity will be up as well, so it'll feel like, you know, again like an early September day. Then this front comes in and behind it a strong northwest wind that gets a little breezy. Notice the little patches of green here. This is all like a 20% rain chance with this front coming through. But anyway, then we're in the north wind on Friday and the weekend. So, But on Friday we're in the upper 70s. If you're looking for some more rain, it was nice to get that rain. I know we took it with some severe weather, but there's not much rain in the forecast for the next seven days. I mean, we've got two small chances showing up. But uh, how about a normal month? All right. So July was the sixth hottest July on record. Then we got to August. That was the second hottest August on record. Then we got into September and that was the second hottest September on record. So we've been on a run in some really hot months and this is how it's starting to look. Temperature outlook six to ten days below normal temperatures are anticipated. That will take us into the middle of next week and then the following weekend and getting into the third week of August still calling for below normal temperatures. So maybe we'll have a month that it is not like record hot. Seven day forecast shows some warmer days ahead in the work week ahead. But by the time we get into next weekend, David, we're right back to low 70s for highs.